All right. Welcome back to The Devil is a Part-Timer Anime Review, episode number 19. Yes, ep next episode is going to be episode 20. I didn't think I would get to episode 20, but here we are. Next episode 20. We're discussing episodes 35 and 36 of the series. The third and second to last episodes of the second season of the show, which aired fairly recently, like a few months ago. So in the course of these episodes, well, we kind of split out the three different groups here. Basically, we have, excuse me, we have Christabel and Christopher Sabbath's character leaving Mao in the inn because he can't, there's not any magical power at this point. So their plot thread is simply this. They they go to some underground, they go, apparently go inside Look like the look like a palace someplace, like a very nice looking powder room. So, oh, there's a toilet. It's a powder room, and then they apparently they find the, the like the Emperor Unifier, and it turns out nope, this room did not have him. It was Emmy's father, Nord, and then Gabriel shows up, sends him over to the Eastern Continent. Which, of course, was walking for a while. They realize they're actually near a particular very important cathedral, and in their part in this two parter, in these two episodes here. In the case of Amy, of course, we see her leading troops in the battle, and then eventually he meets she meets up with Ostia in the very next episode, where her troops arrive at basically this heavenly castle, which show up just in the previous in the previous two episodes. That's where these that's where this castle first showed up, and now we see now they're basically here with troops. And of course, then they, uh, of course, she challenges him. Like, oh, we, we fought, we fought through a draw. So let's continue that. And then, after fighting for quite a while, Gabriel notes the fact these two have been fighting for seven straight hours. I'm like, what? You don't take a break for for a lunch <laughs> that period of time? So you have Gabriel and the two other angels popped up in this very season. Like, oh yeah, if we go sideways, we'll, we'll, we'll just step in. Meanwhile, before I continue with with. Emmy, so because basically hers can interact with with mouse, so so she just is very sleepy, and of course they. Okay. Anyways, so then of course basically where they eat food and then she starts vomiting. Yes, vomiting. Very weird way, and also basically shoot a beam out of her forehead, and they end up on a lake, and apparently they're dried out the very next scene. My guess is he must use some kind of fire or something to heat them up, and apparently he's powering up his cell phone, his flip phone, by using this old-fashioned way of making electricity, just charging his phone, just basically, just, look, 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 it seems like my first heard this sound like, wait, is he going fishing it is in? And I'm like, no, it's this, it's this particular device. I don't know what the heck this thing is. But to me, when I see it, it looks like he's basically reeling in some fish. With a fishing reel. That's power up electricity. Okay. Okay, I think so they have to go do a little bit of shopping. By, by pre-rest for Chi and Emmy because the birthdays are on the same day. According to the Earth calendar. Then they proceed to run in the scooters that they came on just like just in episode 33. That's when they got here. So they ride him to the castle. And of course, basically, then <laughs> they run through the uh, the streets. And I was like wondering, what the heck is that sound? And eventually they arrive at the castle where they basically spook the soldiers by with the, with the first with the machine, with the, the engines of the scooters. And there's also a joke about insurance in here, which I, the, the joke in here was quite hilarious. And then, of course, they spook the soldiers first with fireworks, and then they use Molotov cocktails. Yes, Molotov cocktails to spook medieval soldiers, and, of course, using the bamboo stick to sort of spook them. And, of course, they bust through this whole top of the castle, passing by Oba. Oba basically tries to interfere, but he's stopped by two demons. And they pass like, oh, he's like, oh, crap, she's not seeing a, a, an old man's undies. It's just a pair of shorts. It's just a pair of shorts, whatever. At least he's not wearing tidy whities <laughs> And then they break to this this special cloud which, which they say is the Emperor in, uh, in your fire here. But then, of course, it's not really Emperor in fire, just, just Nord. And then, of course, basically, Asura's is seeing, sensing your sister. 
And of course, they reunite. And of course, Amy's like, "What the heck?" And I was just like, "What?" And she, she's wondering, "Why are they riding him here on Pete's delivery scooters?" Yes, because he sings the Lord pizzas. It's Japan. What do you expect? So then, of course, you have Mao back in his full Satan garb, in fact, the full power. He gives back his, er, basically, Emmy back her father. And Alice Robbins reading how to is a really wonderful scene, which, yes, this is from the book. And, of course, they comment the fact that Alice Robbins is still a baby while the little sisters basically grow up to be a teenager. And then the episode ends in dramatic fashion by having Gabriel the Earth Teenager show up to basically end the episode. And we're leading to the final episode of this very season. I'm like, wow. What a damn good two with these first two episodes of this two of three episodes that adapt book 10. And they do a really good job because I just finished reading book 10 today. So I had to watch these today. Yep. And of course, it's these two episodes that one chapter. See, here's the thing. Chapter book 10 is really short, shorter than the last book. Last book was over 200 pages. He had that cover two episodes. This the, the, book 10 is only 183 pages. And yet, this book was covered in three episodes. Yes, seriously. Yeah, and so far, they did a really good job. So, the very next episode... By the way, all the episodes for this season, and especially last season, where they tend to tie into... They're basically all seeing the chapters of the book they have from. That's why I had assumed, and assumed correctly, that's where, basically, each of these episodes start like which ep- which which ep- which books cover which episodes that's i read a line that's how the season worked and i looked at it like yeah makes total sense so i knew exactly where to start and where to stop the other thing that was quite weird that book seven basically it was like one ep- episode it's only one story it's not the entire book but yet they went but they have important stuff because it's leading to these these set episodes yep so that's particularly a particular view. Next up is for the for this video series is gonna be the final episode of season two, along with my final thoughts of season. But next up is gonna be two straight comic corners. First one, you'll find out exactly what we're covering because this is gonna be quite interesting. Okay, next view. Bye.